Should we do a basket competition? Jeez, <laughs> oh, I am so dizzy. Whew. Now we're laughing, but just imagine someone had to drive that uncoordinated. Well, I guess that's what a drunk person will probably feel like if he's driving a car. Yeah. To drive a car, one needs to be fit physically, but also mentally. This balance is created by a combination of strength, stamina, and nutrition. Of course, driving an F1 race is much more extreme than driving on the road. In an F1 car, you're sitting in a carbon seat with the fuel tank right behind you. No fresh air gets in, your skin can't breathe at all because you're packed tight into your overalls and you also don't get any fresh air into your helmet. On the road, of course, it is nowhere near as strenuous, but the exact same principles apply. To perform, nothing must interfere with your skill and judgment. Adding alcohol to your system reduces your awareness, your ability to react, and your judgment. With alcohol, the risk of road traffic crashes increases dramatically. Honestly, I have zero tolerance for people that drink alcohol and then get behind a wheel of a car. They are a danger to themselves and everyone around them. I was told that alcohol checkpoints and random breath testing can lead to reduction in crashes by about 20%. <laughs> okay, 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 stop, 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 stop. Oh, I feel sick, man. Well, the world is spinning. That doesn't feel good.